hi everybody welcome to my channel or welcome back if it's your first time here thank you so much for stopping by my name is Neo and this is Neo's journal and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back home your first time coming across this channel my name is Neo and I currently live in Wrocław, Poland where I came for studies at the University of Wrocław. So today I'm going to be sharing you guys the English programs that are offered at the University of Wrocław as of 2024. And I feel like this video is relevant because many students in Botswana, South Africa, Zambia, they just completed their um, O levels. O and A levels and um, that's basically the last level of high school and many of their results are already out. Congratulations to all the graduates, all the um, matriculants. Congratulations guys and if Poland is one of the countries you want to study in, I highly recommend the University of Wrocław. Um, they're not paying me for this, this is not a paid ad. I just feel like it's better to recommend um, a school that I went to, you know. Um, also, usually when I get emails like, could you recommend me a school in Krakow or Warsaw or Poznan, I could recommend them based of, on what I've heard from other people, but I always recommend the University of Rotterdam because this is the one that I went to. I have first-hand experiences with them. Um, you know, I'm familiar with the place. I'm familiar with the way that they do things. So yeah, let's get into the English courses that they are offering this year. Start with the bachelor's degree programs. The first one they have is biotechnology. If you're into the science stuff, also all bachelor's degree programs are three years long, three years long, only three years. So yeah, biotechnology. The second one they have is business and administration, but you can choose to specialize. You can either specialize in business, finance, or governance. I personally really, really love governance because it has a lot to do with law, legal subjects. I would describe myself as a law enthusiast. Yeah. <laughs> the third bachelor's degree program that they are currently offering is chemistry, a bachelor bachelor of chemistry if you're into the science stuff test tubes yeah this is the course for you Next bachelor's degree program that they are offering in english is criminal justice yes criminal justice the next one is culture thought and humanity bachelors of culture thought and humanity that's definitely a new one yeah that is definitely a new one also one thing that i love about um the university of rotsov is they just don't keep their things the same. You know, the courses that were offered five years ago. When did I start studying there? 2017. Um, they, you know, they keep adding new things, more to the English department. That's another thing about studying in Poland. The fact that there are very limited courses in English. But I do feel like the University of Rotterdam does have an extensive, um, an extensive range of English programs. So the next one is... Bachelor of European Cultures. If you are an enthusiast of other people's cultures, you can definitely sign up for the Bachelor of European Cultures. The next study program, you guys, is the Bachelor of International Relations Global Studies. This is also a three-year program, as I mentioned before. The next one, you guys, is Political Science. And under the Political Science program, there are four specializations. The first specialization is Comparative Politics. The next specialization is Media and Politics. The third specialization is global security and the fourth specialization is Europe in the world. Yeah, so that's all for political science and those are all the English bachelor's degree programs that the University of Rotterdam offers. Now let's move on to the master's degree programs. The first master's degree program that the university offers is administration in international organizations. The next one is astrophysics. You, this sounds difficult just saying it astrophysics <laughs> master master of astrophysics yes and i must mention all master's degree programs are two years the next master's degree program is biology biology so if you're into the sciences um these are definitely for you astrophysics sounds like a science too right physics um master of chemistry advanced something something chemistry very advanced <laughs> so advanced synthesis in chemistry the next one is the Master of Communication Management. It has to do with advertising, public re relations, and branding. The next master's degree program, 
this is what i studied master of laws llm also with specializations two specializations um human rights modern human rights law and international business law and you all know i'm a business girly i definitely specialized in international business law guys the next master's program is the master of culture thought and humanity to be honest this sounds interesting I hmm. the next program you guys is data science the next program is um eastern european jewish studies so if you're into that kind of thing you can study a master's degree you can get a master's degree in eastern european jewish studies the next study program is the master of managerial economics i know somebody who studied this because it's also at my faculty the faculty of law administration and economics there's also a master of um geography master of geography tourism and hospitality there's also a master of geology geology applied geosciences sounds very interesting geology is the one that has to do with rocks right like rock rocks and caves and stuff i know i'm not wrong anyway if you're into geology the university of Rotterdam offers a master of geology in english and it's also a two-year study program there's also the master of global communication there's also a master of international relations i mentioned they also have it at bachelor's degree level right so they also have international relations at master's degree level there's also a master of journalism and social communication of medical biotechnology so most students who finish the bachelor's degree in biotechnology they also proceed to do masters of biotechnology medical biotechnology master of political science there's also a master of public history i used to love history in high school but i don't think they had a master of public history at the time when i was applying for my study program it seems like a new yeah, it definitely is a new program. Just like I said before, you guys, I love this university because they always add and improve their range of English um, English courses for international students. And the last two master's programs is a master of sociology and a master of theoretical physics. Yes. So those are all the master's degree programs that are offered in English. Now let's move on to the PhD department. <laughs> so the University of Rotterdam currently offers three phd programs in english the first one is a phd program in philosophy and, and the second one is a phd program in political and administrative sciences the third one is a phd program in sociology so if you would like to sign up for any of these programs the university of Rotterdam. I think recruitment begins in February. So if you are someone who's looking to study, I highly recommend the University of Rotterdam um, because it was good to me. I really cannot complain. And for me, if something is good, I just got to share it with you guys. Also, most of the emails that I get from um, subscribers and viewers always, always have to do with studying in Poland. So I know this will help at least one person out there. All the messages I get on Instagram have to do with studying in Poland, studying in Poland, studying in Poland. At this point, I feel like vlogs are just not even cutting it on this channel because i don't think anyone cares about my personal life it's really all about studying in poland so i i hope this video um helps you guys if you have any more questions don't forget to drop them down in the comment section and i'll be happy to assist don't forget to like share comment and hit the subscribe button i almost said red but the subscribe button is not red anymore so don't forget to like share comment and hit the subscribe button down below and i'll see you in the next video bye